Hello, CHASM listeners. This is Nate Brandt with your Conservation Report. I work for the Natural Resources Conservation Service out of the Waite Park USDA Service Center. Our office is still currently closed to the public, so you can't walk in and visit with us, but most of us employees are teleworking from home and can still receive phone calls, emails, and um, can come out for site visits as needed. I work alongside the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation Conservation District to help the folks of Stearns County to improve resource concerns on their lands. As we roll into the end of the year, I want to mention that this is a great time to contact our office to chat about any future conservation concerns or plans um, that you might have on your land. Our resources range from sound technical advice to potential financial assistance agreements that'll supply you with the money you need to get the job done. No concerns too small or too big for us. Um, we've done some pretty big pot projects in the past and we're willing to work with um, small projects or little ideas that you have in mind, whether it be a small tree planting or want to experiment with some cover crops or maybe take on some no-till or all the way up to large egg waste systems. We're always happy to help. If you're curious about the USDA NRCS, that aspect of it, um, the federal side of things, you can visit the farmers.gov webpage from the comfort of your own home and receive some great insight as to uh, what we can offer. There's also some cool tools on there to kind of run through the different resource concerns that we look at and how we evaluate them and um, the potential help that we can offer through our office if you choose to contact us. Now I want to switch gears and for those of you with livestock, I want to mention that we have several planners in our office that can assist with planning a rotational grazing system. Uh, maybe you've heard of this before, whether it be through something like the Sustainable Farming Association or any of the livestock grazing groups. Studies have shown that when forage is managed properly and when you uh, uh, apply proper pasture recovery periods, the land capacity of the animal units can possibly be increased, which in turn can mean more profits for you. So in conjunction with you know adequate, clean, accessible water supply, you can have a well-performing uh, livestock herd. Our office, we start by using aerial imagery, um, GIS, or, or which stands for Geographic Information System Computer Software, and on-site visits with you to kind of get an idea of your goals and um, for the land. To We worked with you to design a grazing system that will be beneficial to you and the land. Typically, we plan on livestock grazing in an individual paddock for not more than about five days. Um, we find that if we leave them in there longer, cattle can harm the forage because they start eating the regrowth. So we like to typically have a grazing period of less than five days and then move them out to a new pasture. Ideally, you'd like to give the pasture about 30 days of rest. So, but this isn't an exact science. You know, it all relies on um, attention to how, how the forage responds to the grazing, the weather, how fast recovery periods can be. So it could be as little as 15 days all the way up to 45 days in case, you know, if we don't get proper moisture, uh, if temperatures are too high or whatnot. So also if you're ambitious enough, we've heard of systems where folks are rotating the animals up to several times a day and they say it improves gains and they're seeing difference in uh, body condition scores. So uh, something to look into and we can help you plan this. So in doing this, within conjunction with the watering system, you know, of a network of tanks, pipelines, um, gravel pads under the tanks, you know, we a designated well and pumps, you can optimize weight gains in your herd. So in addition to, you know, providing design and technical assistance, it's possible we can provide financial assistance to install pretty much everything you need to get a successful grazing system up and running. One of the common funding sources is through our Environmental Quality Incentives Program, or EQIP for short. Typically, our payments can provide, you know, about 50 to over 75% of the cost needed to get the job done. And that's for fencing, pasture reseeding, um, drilling a well if needed, a pump, a uh, pipeline to supply that water, new tanks, gravel pads under those tanks. We cover just about all of that.
Now, this program is competitive and funding is not guaranteed, though, so give our office a call for more information. Thank you and have a good day.